I come from a land down under. I'm a man at work, soppy, I know. But I'm at work, Sop Town Football Club. You're watching Around the Ground. Good afternoon everyone, um, and what a pleasant afternoon it is um, for mid-October. I'm at Worksop Town Football Club, um, Northern League South is it, and they're playing Carlton today um, as we start a walk around the ground here. Um, so this is the far side, let's have a quick spin, that's, the, um, that's not the best view with the sun, um, of the stand over there which is a nice size. And as you can see, there's a couple of steps of concrete terracing on this far side. And there's the tower uh, for the social media. Guys, quite steep these steps actually, but up we go. And the Perspex dugouts ahead of me here. Let's look back and that's the clubhouse in the distance there, which is a bit Bryden Ropes and Frenford-esque. Uh, had a little run of those in uh, in the corner of the pitch, and here's the dugouts just there. Um, for those coming by public transport, and after my horrendous walk last week at Ashford United, Worksop is a piece of cake. You get to Worksop Station, and it's a gentle 10 minute walk, if that. Um, I'd almost feel right, I'm just starting to get into my walk, and I was like, oh, there it is, then. Really easy to find. Um, it's really been quite stress-free this week, get in here. So let's, um, let's just stand over there, looking back at the clubhouse, music blaring in the ears. And we jump down here. Thank you for everyone who watched the Ashford United video last weekend. If you haven't, why don't you watch it? Um, plenty of new subscribers, although none with names again. So this is the second week running where I haven't got any shout outs. So when you subscribe, and please do, um, and stay tuned today for clips of the match and some stills at the end, um, then just leave me a comment, let me know who you are, and I will give you a shout out in my video next week. So there's um, a covered standing area here at the far end so the side we've just walked along is the only part of the ground where there is no cover so we've got the big stands uh, this lengthy covered area at the far end and there's a small as we look at the end behind the goal there um, covered area there so jumping down no standing allowed in the yellow nine areas. That'll be there then. Not quite sure why anyone would want to stand there, but there you go. Um, so it's a little family zone. Um, interesting stands, to be honest with you. There's four-ish rows of seating, bucket seats, you know, fairly standard stuff. But then they've got an area at both ends with sort of stairs going up. And I think this near end here, you see those two windows up there, maybe some kind of kids zone, um, with interactive games and that kind of thing. And then at the far end, it's the PA announcer and that kind of thing. And there's a retail park um, just ahead of me there. Not the hugest retail park I've ever seen. And that's where we've just been. So a few rows, uh, well not rows, but a few seats here. And as you can see, it says um, Tiger's Den, powered by the Games Workshop, and that's for family zone. And uh, I'm just gonna have to fight my way past this pram. And then if we spin back, and there are the stairs up there that I was talking about. And ahead of me to the right, if you look, you will see the stairs that go up to the PA announcer's hut. It's quite busy considering it's only quarter past two. I don't know what sort of crowds they normally get here, but a good amount of people here. This is the um, press box there and the director's seating area. And Hansworth Paramore 
also same to play here and there's their logo just there and this is the tunnel it's leading to the um, changing rooms there and that's a really good view of the slightly odd looking if I'm to be honest it's sort of wood at the top and brick at the bottom um, clubhouse with a little balcony area there and just um, at this corner is the snack bar I probably said before but I'm going to say it again the further north you go the better the food is I've just had a pie and peas there's everything that you expect pie and peas to be when you come vaguely north really tasty um, good portion that's excellent so where we are here there's a small covered area at the near end that's where they're selling the programs to the right is the entrance to the bar and also that's where you come in and finally until we're back to where we started ahead of me here um, next to that unusual looking <laughs> toilet block is if you look down there the tiger shop so there's a club shop here as well so nice setup here at, um, workshop workshop town even football club um, but don't take my word for it why don't you come to workshop yourself I'm sure you'll have a warm welcome um, I hope you enjoy this video and if as I say stay tuned for clips of today's game and stills and if you have enjoyed it click on like if you've hated every minute click on dislike and why not subscribe so that all videos that I do will automatically go to your YouTube feed and once you clicked on subscribe click on the little bell and if you click on the little bell you wake up in the morning and there will be flights of stairs in your garden where they will lead well who knows you will have to go up and find out anyway thanks for watching and this is works up town football club Good tigers! Hi, this is Chris. You're watching my channel around the ground, and the half time score is nil on nil. Full time and I'm outside J.H. Shardlow and Son Aerated Water Manufacturers. Um, this was Farsley Celtic all over again. That was a shocking game. I spent the vast majority of it with my head craned upwards watching the ball being belted from one end of the field to the other and headers up in the air. Neither team got it down and played. There was hardly a chance um, until Carlton scored on 86 minutes from a corner um, I guess that's what you get you get some good games you get some bad games neither team today was on form but what a nice little ground thoroughly enjoyed my trip and I thoroughly recommend it really good crowd 450 odd today so do 
take yourself along to Worksop Town if you possibly can. Anyway, thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. And this was Worksop Town Football Club.